This will be my first uh, thrust test using the thrust test bench that I just recently built. Uh, there you can see how it's uh, set up. Uh, the motor uh, combination I'm using today is an NTM 2826-1200KV with an 8x4.5 prop, a, a plush 18 amp ESC. Uh, here's the watt meter that I'll be using to uh, measure the power being consumed. Uh, the battery is a Nanotech uh, 2.65 amp and uh, there's the uh, gram scale that I'll be using to give uh, an idea of the thrust. I'm using a servo tester as the throttle. And uh, here goes our first attempt at uh, doing this. Well, actually, it's not the first attempt, but it's the first one I'm recording. So uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I did a, a, uh, a simulation of uh, what I should be getting using the eCalc website. And uh, their estimate was uh, for this combination, I should be getting about 600 grams of thrust at about uh, 10 amps uh, power which uh, you'll see that uh, when I get up here I'm going to hold it at around 600. Uh, I do I do get 600 grams at about uh, 10 or 11 amps. Unfortunately that's not at full thrust. So now as we go to full thrust or full throttle I should say. At full throttle I'm getting anywhere between uh, uh, 760 here on the first test. I actually had 800 and uh, about uh, 15 uh, amps on the first test I did with a full battery. I had 800 at uh, approximately 16 and a half amps, uh, which is uh, actually a little bit more than I'd want to draw through the uh, 18 amp ESC to be safe. So I'm probably going to be ch changing that out. On the playback of the watt meter, you'll see that the battery got drawn down to about 11.6 uh, uh, volts. Um, we used, uh, at the peak, it was 15.23 amps, 178 watts. So, um, kind of a little bit too much for this ESC. I think I'm going to swap it out for something larger. Here's my test, all done.